Hi everyone, this is Sarah from the Boulder Philharmonic Orchestra. Welcome to our very first story time with the Phil. Today we will read the Garden Symphony. The story is by Victoria Kintner Griswold and art is by Sharon Bargo. A ladybug snuggled in blankets of snow and listened to whispers of icy wind blow. She dreamed of sweet music, of playing a tune, of finding her musical instrument soon. As breezes grew warmer, the ladybug stirred. Were those melting drip drops of snow that she heard? She opened her eyes and hooray, it was spring. With a twist and a wiggle, she tested each wing. Hello, she called out, watching everyone creep and slowly wake up from a long winter's sleep. With spring in full swing and the sun shining strong, each bug started learning their instrument's song. But Ladybug gulped and said, how could it be? It seems there's no special song waiting for me. The bugs in the garden all seemed very nice. She made a quick plan. She would ask for advice. A butterfly played on an oboe nearby. Her lush la-la-las helped the tulips grow high. How lovely, the ladybug said. May I try? Well, yes, be my guest, said the kind butterfly. She picked up the oboe and puffed out her cheeks, then frightened the garden with horrible shrieks. Be patient, said Butterfly. Don't give up yet. Pay a visit to Bumblebee. Try clarinet. Downhill in a daisy, be whirled and whizzed. He played clarinet with a buzzy biz biz. The ladybug cried, clarinet is for me. Then give it a go, said the glad bumblebee. She pressed on each key and she gently blew air. But out came a squawk, giving both quite a scare. Oh dear, said the bumblebee. How about violin? A visit to spider would help you begin. On a watering tin, while he played violin, the spider spun webs with a zippy zin zin. Could your song, the ladybug asked, be for me? Well, give it a try, spider said, and we'll see. She drew her bow slowly and hoped for a match, but shocked her new friend with a scritchity scratch. There, there, spider said. See that sparkle of yellow? You might find your song on the firefly's cello. A tune drifted down from a sky painted pink. The firefly's light flickered blinkity blink. Let me try, she said as she jumped all around. But grumbly growls turned her hopes upside down. Oh, Firefly, Ladybug said, something's wrong. I've searched the whole garden. I can't find my song. My friend, said the Firefly, Please know one thing, all creatures are given their own song to sing. The ladybug thanked him and waved a goodbye, then yelped as a lightning bolt burst from the sky. Kaboom! Little ladybug dove for the plants, and marching tap tap went an army of ants. <laughs> The 
garden grew silent, the storm had passed by, and Ladybug dried herself off with a sigh. She felt her eyes sting and her heart nearly break. She said to herself, has there been some mistake? Then faintly she heard music swell from the ground. From under the leaves rose a glorious sound. Right there, plucked by raindrops, her heart skipped a beat. A shiny new harp sat right under her leaf. She reached out her arms and she stroked every string and sparked a sweet chorus of ping-a-ping-pings. The harp, it's been waiting for me all along. Her heart pitter-pattered. She'd found her own song. The butterfly, firefly, bee, and the spider all took their positions to play alongside her. Performing as one with each melody right, the new garden symphony lit up the night. 